Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zena and today's video about this antique table makeover. As you can see, the table has a secret compartment. I believe they used to use it for like a game table. And excuse my hands because I was painting another bedroom set. <laughs> I did a light sanding on the table and I start priming uh, using the cover stain primer by Sensor It's Oil Base. I'm using a regular roller that I got from Amazon. I do recommend this roller for dark colors, definitely not light colors. I can show you with my next project what this roller did to my paint. I start painting my piece with black color using furniture paint by Vosbar. Furniture paint is not a chalk base so it's definitely different than the what we are used to if we use chalk paint it's a little bit it will give you a satin finish not a matte finish and it's it, you need to prime if you want a good thick or smooth cover you definitely gonna need to prime your piece first After I was done painting my piece, I start putting my gel, which is glue. It's a it called Art Basics Fenabera 3D Matte Gel. I'm gonna put the picture. This is what they recommend to use with the tissue paper. The only mistake I did here, I put a whole layer, just like the size of my tissue paper, and I believe I'm not supposed to do that because it dries so fast. So it's better that you add slowly or little by little till you cover your whole tissue paper, uh, just like what I did on the right side. Little bit hard to move the tissue around or to straighten it up I did use some kind of tool you'll see in a minute to to push all the gel and to level it because I felt like some areas were like kind of higher than the others it's not straight so maybe the way I put the gel let's see what's gonna happen On the right side, I did the right thing. I start adding a low by low the gel and adding under and on top because my gel was drying so fast I couldn't just wait till I was done with the first layer. This tool made everything looks better, feels better, and level. So 
But for the sides, I wanted to add something so I can make it like uh, the tissue paper will blend with my top. So I just added a little bit of black on the top, all around my tissue paper, and then applied polyacrylic water base to protect it. It did turn a little bit darker than the way it looks right now after it was dry. If I will ever do this project again or use the tissue paper, I'll definitely not use the uh, the gel. I'll probably use a top coat and put like first layer, lay the tissue paper, and protect it with the same um, with the same top coat. For the top, I'm using the Patchwork Stencil by Redesign with Prima. I did use the dabbing, you know, the sponge dabbing, and I'm using the Deco Art Elegant Finish. It's kind of metallic, black metallic color, but it was taking so long, so I was thinking it's better that I use the roller. I didn't use any adhesive on the stencil. It was perfect when I used the roller. It did leak a little bit, but you won't even notice it. And for the last part, I protected my piece with water-based polyacrylic. I gave it around three coats and I used my $2 brush. Yep, $2 and it works perfect. You won't even see the brush marks. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. All the tools that I use will be listed in the description box except for the $2 brush because it's from Walmart. <laughs> I'm sorry I was kind of messy because I was using my spray gun to finish a bedroom which is the next project will be three pieces bedroom set. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.